You are listening to I Hate Average podcast featuring Jay from the Bronx. All right, what's going on? I'm back. I'm excited. I'm feeling these episodes. I'm feeling these guests. They keep coming. They keep coming. You can't stop me. <laughs> anyway, what's going on, people? It's Jay, AverageJay.com. This is, you're now listening to the I Hate Average podcast. What's going on, man? It, I told you I've been consistent. I've been doing this weekly. I've been getting these guests, been having this good conversation, again, some insight on some things. Um, and today is no different. This week, no different. I have Shy Cypher from The Grind Report magazine. Not only a magazine, but it's really a movement. They have a lot of things going on, helping artists develop, um, management, all the things of that nature. You got to listen to it. I'm excited about it. Shasha Cipher, The Grind Magazine. Also, email me. You know, you, you have feedback for the show. You want to get at me about the show. You can email me, show at averagej.com. Once again, that's show at averagej.com. Um, you can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all of that. I hate average J A Y. Um, that's about it. And, um, this summer's going good, man. I've been getting a a lot of great feedback. My listeners is going up. <laughs> I'm not mad at that at all. My listeners is going up. So I appreciate it. I'd like a little bit more feedback and get those reviews up. I think I only got two reviews on iTunes. I need some more reviews, guys and ladies. Um, also, I think I'm going to announce it next week because I got to do the final touches. But I think I'm going to have the first I Hate Average J podcast event. Just to meet some of the listeners, um, show my face, mingle, drink, have a good time. So listen next week for the uh, final details on that. And uh, once again, this is Shy Cypher, my Shy Cypher interview from The Grind Report. All right, everyone, I have here Shy Cypher from The Grind Magazine. How you doing, sir? Hey, what's going on, man? What's going on? Definitely, I... Just, you know, same thing, different day, you know, just trying to maintain and, and uh, do the best we can, you know, with our brand. Okay, okay. So how did you get started with The Grind Magazine? <clears throat> the Grind Report, um, you know, that pretty much started, <clears throat> excuse me, pretty much started in 2010. Um, okay. You know, me and a couple, me and a couple, uh, you know, friends that I was uh, um, dealing with at the time, you know, decided we wanted to do something different. I mean, before, you know, in that time, I was mainly an artist, um, you know, Shaw Sipe as an artist, a rapper, and I wanted to kind of, we wanted to kind of build our own brand. We built a brand called Grind Mob. Grind Mob was actually our team, and then out of Grind Mob, we created the Grind Report. And originally, it was okay. made, originally it was made to, um, uh, pretty much help us in our careers as as you know artists and and take the things that we've learned with the ma- you know like doing a magazine and use the funds to help you know our each other career. exactly okay. um but it actually turned into something and in, you know that our main focus became not just the artist the artistry side we really became you know started to focus on building this magazine, and we started to see people grab to it, mainly because of the name Grind. People was like, I want to be part of yeah. it. I want to be part of it. <laughs> yeah. So that's how that came in. A um, couple of years down the line, about three years after, you know, once we, you know, we were doing different things as artists, doing a magazine, we, you know, we did mixtapes, we took some time off uh, with different separate ways, and then I relaunched it, um, you know, I relaunched the Grind Report as a website, mainly, you know, pretty much eliminating Grind Mob. We made the Grind Report the forefront in December okay. of uh, 2015. So now we're where we at now. Okay. Well, well, I found you because I seen. Uh, I'm a I'm a fan of Hattie Rex from the Bronx, and I seen him and uh, seen he was uh, repping the brand. So I said, let me check these guys out, and I've just been following you guys ever since. And I just took a chance and reached out. Oh, definitely. You know, we appreciate that. You know, anybody who wants to reach out and talk to us, we're more than welcome 
in, in doing that, definitely, definitely speaking to anyone. Yeah, I appreciate that. So I see the main focus is on, on um, up-and-coming artists. What, what made you want to focus on that rather than um, trying to get more uh, established artists? Well, I mean, I think the established artists, in my in my opinion, are where they need to be established. They, okay. <laughs> they, they, they have those magazine filters and like the Sauce Double XL and, and some independents that are, you know, that have been out longer than I have that, that are really focusing on them. We wanted to focus on the people that, that, that those established artists used to be, you know what I'm saying, yeah. before they became, sure. you know, good enough to be part of those, you know, bigger magazines. We wanted to, you know, be a part of that, that lane where we're helping, you know, that, that person's career. You know, granted, at the same time, we want to make sure, <clears throat> excuse me, we want to make sure that the, the artists that we are representing is grinding and is actually, you know, putting them putting their career in the forefront. You know what I mean? Doing the right things to get where they need to be, and 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 you know, we want to make sure that they, you know, they're representing while we putting them in the magazine. Um, but you know, that was our main focus. Everybody, you know, those established artists and some of the independents that are getting up there are now being sought after by those, uh, you know, higher branded. A magazine filters. We wanted to be the ones to say, okay, well, you know, we we know we're not Double XL, we know we're not Source, we're not Vibe, we're not, you know, somebody, we're not Hip Hop Weekly. But at some point, yeah. we'll get there. We want to be the ones to say, okay, you know what? We reached out to this artist, you know, on their day one situation, or when they really exactly. start to really build a name, and then they'll remember yeah. us, you know. Exactly, so, exactly. So build the relationships there. Yeah. Exactly. We wanted to give you okay. know, give them the opportunity. You know, a lot of people Hattie Rack's never been on a front cover. He's been reached out by Double XL and Sauce and, and Hip Hop Weekly, things like that, but you know, they, they haven't put him on a cover, which I can understand, yeah. you know, based on the criteria, but why not? You know, Hattie is Hattie's doing his thing. We follow everyone. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So Okay. Um that's basically the you know the reason for it. We're their platform. You know? Okay. So who's uh, some of the artists that you haven't uh, featured yet that we should be looking out for? Um, we got one coming up called uh, uh, No We No Good out the Bronx. But he was in um, he was in Hattie Rack's issue. Um, he's actually uh, going to be a cover of issue 15. Uh, we're going okay. to be doing some uh, work with a couple Philly artists. I can't put it out there yet, um, but... <laughs> We uh we're gonna be doing some work with some Philly artists, you know, for, you know, down the line, some some other type of uh industry people within the industry. So we don't really stay in the artistry, you know. We don't we don't want to tell it to just artists. We're looking at you know video directors. We're looking at photographers. We're looking at promoters. We're looking at you know radio personalities. You know DJs, producers. You know, we're we're kind of we're we want to spread it out to where, you know, you're you're going to see all aspects of the business within our magazine. You know what I mean? Okay. So, Definitely. um, and then we if we don't feature them on a, in our magazine, we'll feature them on our website. You know, we have multiple outlets where we can, you know, uh, feature them on our website and other people's websites. And, and then promote them that way. You know, it all depends on what they're looking to do. People grab, you know, gravitate into the magazine, and we want that. You know what I mean? But they once they find out all the other things that we we get into, um, then they start to see that you know we're we're actually helping to build them a package. You kind of like a I hate to say it like this, like an artist or a, a starter kit for that you know for that person's career, depending on what they're looking to do. So well, that's, um, that's great. That's great. Uh, it's basically like uh, basically you're featuring the mag featuring them in the magazine, but also giving them some career advice and also, you know, um, some more exp- some extra exposure besides just uh, print magazine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we 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 put you in the magazine. We send you hard copies if if you know. What I mean, if if you know, once you pay for the package, if at the same time, if you know, if you're like my partner, you know, Tampa Mystic, she's out of the. Atlanta area, and, you know, she's pretty much running, you know, one of the people that is running the scene out there. Um, so, okay. you know, she she does radio, 
Um, you know, she does radio interviews and she does showcases where artists can come perform. You know, she she's doing social network and you know she's doing artists, pretty much artist startup situations. She you know anything that she doesn't have access to, she knows someone with access. So you know we kind of we kind of put people in the right direction versus saying okay you know. I don't know how to do this, and we really do, and then we're, we don't want to send you to somewhere you don't want to be. You know what I mean? But, you know, if you don't know who we are and what we do, you know, definitely we always recommend to do your homework before you pick where you want to spend your money, you know? Um, so, you know, we try to be as reasonable as possible as well. We, we hate, we don't break pockets. We rather just, you know, deal with what you got, and then we work around it from there. Okay. That, make, that makes sense. So, um, I know I don't want you to, to tell all your secrets, but in, from in a year from now, where do you see the the brand going? Oh man, we uh, we're planning to you know we want to expand, you know, to to multiple markets. I mean, being myself, I'm from Brooklyn, New York, so I'm already, you know, got that New York feel to the thing, to the way that I the things that I do. You know, even though my number one thing is oh, you know, as an artist, you know, myself doing music. You know, my, my main focus is the brand of the ground report. You know, kind of the artist the, my artistry side is kind of on a back burner and, and I and I'm proud to keep it that way because, you know, I'm I'm more focused on the brand. So in a year from now, we're we're looking to expand the brand in the multiple markets. I, I started to reach out to different people in different markets to expand the website, you know, to to increase the presence of the magazine in the street. We you're gonna start seeing us you know, and, and, and physical events and stuff like that, sponsoring different um, different major events and being able to, you know, pinpoint people to where they need to be. So, I mean, definitely look out for more magazines. We went from dropping a magazine every other month to dropping one every month, dropping wow. a mixtape every month. Um, and now, you know, expanding on, on placements, website placements for artists, uh, whether it be, you know, uh, big big websites like This Is 50 or Jack Thriller, stuff like that, to, you know, smaller websites that have a bigger presence on the underground, stuff like that. So uh, okay. we're doing that. Um, we recently um, partnered with um, a, a, a radio station, an online radio station in Atlanta called High, Highly Unique Radio, um, which the program director is uh, – um, Chris Gotti, which is Herb Gotti's brother. Um, oh, wow. that's major. That's major. Yeah, yeah. So now, you know, Highly Unique Radio um, connected with us to create radio slash magazine packages. So you'll start to see, um, you start to see posts that we put out, you know, announcing that where we're, you know, where we're we're actually taking the artists, we put them in a magazine. We giving them their radio spins, and if they got their business right, meaning they BDS, you know, uh, sign ups, they sound exchange, they ask captive BMI, all these songs that we spin will be counted, and they can start making money off of the songs that they they register. Oh, uh, you get what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, definitely, um, that's great. So yeah. so that's, yeah, that's just a good you know, couple things. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's just recent. That just happened about a week ago. You know what I mean? Okay. So, you know, it's it's one of those things like we're quietly talking to, you know, you know, people that are doing, you know, some of the great things for artists and, and trying to connect those dots for them. You know what I mean? So, okay. So definitely. So how do, how do how does the artist reach out to you? Do you just hear the music or and you you reach out to them or can they? Well, I mean, if we reach out, like, you know, for instance, there's certain people we put in a magazine that we reach out directly. Caddy Racks happens to be one of them. He didn't reach out to us. He reached out to him only because we've been watching him for the longest. You get what I'm saying? We've seen his grind. Um, You know, when we actually watch artists and watch, you know, people within the industry, we're we're, we're seeing what they're doing. And then we say, you know what, you're really doing your thing for 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 this business. Let's get you in the ground report. But usually they will hit us up, you know, through uh, through my partner, Tampa Mystic, at mysticzent at gmail.com. Or they can go on thegroundreport.com and there's a submit section there. And when you send it, you know, when you fill out the submit uh, uh, form, it actually goes to my partner. 
Um, okay. Or, you know, they, they, hit her up through, they hit me up through Instagram, stuff like that. We prefer email because we keep track of people who want to, who at least inquire. Um, like me personally, I don't mind the, the, the direct messages and stuff like that. Um, I usually forward people to my partner. We keep okay. track of stuff like that. We, we, we're we more organized like that, you know, and stuff like that. So she prefers email. She really hates the DM situation um, only because <laughs> she gets, you know, she's got, you know, my the, the Ground Report Instagram and Twitter only got almost 1,500 to 1,300, you know, uh, um, you know, followers, but her, you know, my partner, she's got over 64, almost 70,000 people that follow yeah. her daily. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. so I can imagine she gets crazy messages. I can, uh, <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Every time yeah. we turn around, it's someone that wants something different out of her services and the grind report, stuff like that. So, you know, it's it's one of those things where contact us, hit us up, you know, any way that you see fit at the end of that conversation, you're probably going to be sent to an email. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, man, that's that's the best way to get a hold of us. Mystic C and T, give us 24 hours. We're real good on email. I don't like holding okay. people back. You know what I mean? Definitely. So you, you definitely you try your best to work with artists no matter what. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, the key thing is communication. You know what I mean? Yeah. You tell me, like, listen, I got a budget. This is how much I want to spend or – you know, let me know what this costs, and okay, we'll send you the price list. So you, you know, you with it. You know what I mean? Let's let's what what are you trying to do, and when are you when are you trying to get it done by? You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Okay. You know, we we I don't got no problem working. I just need to know that's what we're doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, exactly. Just, yeah. <laughs> you know, just tell us. You know, we're real cool with the situation. You know, we we really about our business. When we tell you a time frame. We do. You know, ninety five, ninety six percent of the percent of the time we, we make that deadline, you know what I mean? It's only that little percentage of the time where we may have to say, listen, because of this, because of that, you know what I mean, we may have to, you know, hold back a little, you know, an extra day. But you'll know that days yeah. in advance. It will never be last minute, you know what I mean? We don't, okay. we don't you know, so, uh, you know, we just try to stay on top of our game, elevate yeah. our grind so we can help expand yours, you know what I mean? That's really course, about what we do. Yeah. So I know you I, you can't name names and I don't want to turn it negative, but what's some of the like horror stories or problems you have um, throughout the years working with artists? Can you say? Well, I mean, you know, I, I don't mind artists window shopping. You get what I'm saying? And uh, yeah. <laughs> trying to find out, you know, what this costs, what that costs, and I'm interested. But, you know, don't get us roused up if you're not ready. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do your homework first, you know what I mean? And, we're we're not the type. I'm gonna be honest with you. We're not the type to try to sell you on. You know, you need to come with the ground report. You need to jump on the ground report. Just watch what we do for people. You know what I'm saying? Let yeah, them say true. what they gotta. You know, say about us. If you feel, you know, what we've done for them may benefit your career, come our way and we tell you what we'll do and we'll stick to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So but you, if, you, if you, say that again, I'm sorry. So you get uh, a lot of. Not a lot, but you get every now and again you get those pump fakers, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. And, and yeah. I know why they do it. They want to see, you know, some some of them are, I guess, quote unquote, competitors. We don't look at nobody as a competitor. We look at it as, listen, there's enough money out here for everybody, and if you do it, it the is, right definitely. way, you know what I mean. If you do it the right yeah. way, we can communicate. But a lot of artists don't really have their business right. And what I mean by that is. You know, they go to the studio, they spend their money, all they spend all their money on, on studio time. They, or they, or if they bought the beat, let's just say they bought the beat, okay? okay. And they spent all the money on, on studio time. Well, they didn't take the time to, you know, sign themselves off for either ASCAP, BMI, CSAC, whoever's out there for publishing, okay? okay. That's, that's the wrong. You didn't do the BDS, and the BDS and the ASCAP and all that stuff is free. That's not going to cost you anything. What's well, going to cost you a little bit is sound exchange, okay? Well, that's understandable. Okay. You don't really have the funds at the time. You know what I mean? But BDS spins, that's free. You know, send an email to BDS. They give you a login. You upload your things. You upload your MP3, you're good. If you've got a WAV file, they prefer MP3s, but if you've got a WAV file, it'll be converted. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't yeah. know that. So, you know, and that way you, when your stuff spins, you know, then you start, you know, to get credit for it. So when you go to have these meetings, you know, then you got something to have a meeting with. Yeah, it's true. 
exactly. rather than just Another. saying I got a SoundCloud or something like that. Exactly. I mean, by all means, have your SoundCloud. You know what I mean? Have, have, have somewhere people can go. Have your own website. You know, a lot of artists, they do want to, they, they want to spend, you know, four or $500 to jump on This Is 50, Hot 97, and Flex We Trust, Jack Thriller, and stuff like that. That's nice, but listen, I, you know, someone, you know, some people don't know, listen, you, if, you, if you pay somebody or if you know a plug that can get you on 10, 15, 20 of the little sites, and then you can take that, you know, part part of the background. But if, you know, you can take that. Um, you take the um, you take that you, those twenty uh, sites that you've been posting on. Those twenty sites, if you take that to a meeting or you or you put that in the email saying, "Listen, my track was on these many you know, this many amount of sites." Okay, they're gonna start saying, "Okay, it's got it's your track has got some feet on it now." Okay, I'm gonna exactly. put it on. You know. I heard it here. I heard it there. You can get on this and set the influx we trust faster because people seeing that they you posted, you know what I mean, this music on these little sites. You know what I mean? The ground report is not big like that. But we gradually, every day, put more people on there, put more people on there. Now they come in our way because they know, okay, they support an underground artist. I don't got to go through yeah. all this extra hard work. You know what I mean? It's true. Um, hold on one second. No problem. Yes, I can join. Um, so, you know, that's just one of those things where, you know, I see a lot of, a lot of errors, you spend a lot of money or if you don't spend any money at all on your career and then, then you want, you want somebody to just sign you off a, a off a, I just happen to be in the right place at the right time. Yeah, definitely. So, um, have, have any, uh, labels been coming at you since you guys been started with the grind mob and also the grind report? Well, the grind mob, you know, we 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 had meetings in the past. Uh, we we had meetings with Def Jam, and uh, I believe it was Interscope. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, at that time, we just didn't have our business together. And that's how we learned. Unfortunately, we learned the hard way. The grind report Definitely. people were coming to us. You know, not not any one major coming to us um, about the magazine, but we're getting the artists. Um, you know, that are a part of these high, uh, you know, high part of these independent labels, really, like Quality okay. Control, which is Migos, um, you know, uh, Migos assigned to Quality Control. They have, they actually, they have their own management, stuff like that. They come right. to, you know, me and my partner to push their stuff. Me, Buck, which is one half of, of Young Guns, um, you know, okay. from the rock and stuff like that. We We just... He just released two tracks today. We were servicing that and pushing that to the websites. Um, oh, you know, cool. when Bake, you know, before Bake Bro, Bake Bro Fresh, you know, passed, we was on that campaign and, and stuff like that. So we're 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 getting our hands in, into some serious situations by keeping yeah, in mind that we're really yeah. there for the underground. You know what I mean? Definitely. Well, I mean, I, I think personally, I think I'm, I'm from the outside, of course. I'm not an artist, but I think the industry changed so much that if you could point artists in the right direction and have them set up the BDS and, and things of that nature, they can get so much momentum that they can make money without being signed anyway. Yeah, we're, we're really focused on, you know, those independents. You know, when you hear the ground report, we always say, you know, the ground, the ground report, your independent and unsigned headquarters. You know, we, we love the majors by all means. You know, we want to we respect the majors in the industry, the, you know, those 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 big names out there, the Rock Nations, the Endoscopes, the, the Def Jams, the Epics. We respect those, you know. But, you know, we're looking at street execs, you know. We're, we're, yeah. we're looking at, you know, those independents, you know what I mean, and, and even those unsigned that is trying to get to those points because at some point you're going to have to come see us to find out who's hot. Why are they hot? True. You know what I mean? And, that's true. And that's yeah. where we're, you know, that's the, and it may not just be for artists. You might be looking for a producer. You might be trying to yeah. in-house your situation, directors, whoever you're trying to do, graphics artists. We're going after everybody that's responsible from turning a normal person into the artist that you want to sign. And it, and it uh, starts from all that, you know? Definitely, definitely. Um, Shy Cypher, man, I really, really appreciate your time. I appreciate some of the insights you gave me. Um, I, I'm enjoying the ground report. I'm enjoying watching the the gradual move up. Um, I'm enjoying your grind, watching from the outside. 
Um, and I appreciate no. your time. Can you just tell people again how they can reach out to you, um, the website, the magazine? Uh, uh, com, and that's the grind spelled with, with a Y. So G-R-Y-N-D, the G-R-Y-N-D report.com. Um, if you want to reach, you know, us directly, got any questions, hit up mysticsemt at gmail.com. It's M-Y-S-T-I-C-S-E-N-T dot com. Or you can just hit the grind report at gmail.com as well. Either email will get you back uh, at the grind report on Twitter, Instagram, right now, you know, and just, just look out for the, the, the announcements that we make, the, the, the magazines that we drop every month, the mixtapes we drop, the placements that we put out, the artists we work with, things like that. Definitely, man, definitely. And once again, thank you so much for your time, and uh, hopefully we can get you back on at a later date. Definitely. I appreciate it. Thanks for reaching out. All right, thanks. All right, bye-bye. All right, so there you have it. That's my Shot Cypher episode, The Grind Report. Hope you guys check out, especially artists, I hope you guys check out some of the services that he offers. Hope you guys paid attention to some of the insights that he uh, gave on independent artists. So you could do a lot of things that labels can do for you. You can also do for yourself and make money off of streaming and things of that nature. You know, getting your numbers right and, and making some money without signing these deals that uh, basically hurt you and your family. Um, I appreciate that. I appreciate just his time because someone who's in the industry doesn't really have time to be doing small podcasts like this. I appreciate his time. And he was very, he was a stand-up guy, um, very honest, uh, and I appreciate all of that. And hopefully I, it was some help to some of the artists. Also, being that I had Shot Cypher, he, he gave me kind of a push that I kind of want to help independent artists myself, basically independent businesses. So also artists, you want to be featured on the show, we could play a song that you feel that um, might resonate with some of my listeners. So if you are an artist and you're interested in uh, having a song played on the show, you can email me show at averagej.com once again it's show at averagej.com I'll definitely support uh, I'm doing this this is all independent media I'm independent and I want to support independent artists also independent businesses so um, business owners if you want to advertise on the show now advertising might cost a minimal fee a nominal fee very minimal, but I just want to get mostly minority or um, social media entrepreneurs just so just to keep it independent. That's just my mind frame right now. I want to keep uh, supporting independent artists and independent businesses. So if you're an independent artist or independent entrepreneur, you're doing this on your own and you would like support from the show. Email me, email me, email me, show at averagej.com. I want to support. I want to show love, and I think it'll help. Maybe your audience might want to listen to to my show, or my listeners might want to, you know, um, follow up with, you, with what you're doing. So I think it'll, it's like a barter system, and I think it'll help be mutually beneficial. Um, I'm so excited. I can't even talk right because I'm... I really like the direction that the show is going. Um, excuse the noise in the back. <laughs> I'm actually recording from my house today. But anyway, um, I think the direction is going is going as planned. I wanted to get people just telling their story of origin. And it's a, it's basically about, I hate average podcast. Basically, it's not the average person, not just the, the mainstream artist or the mainstream actor. It's people who have different stories to tell, and that's what I'm about. That's what I'm supporting, and that's the show. Thanks. Um, email me again, show at AverageJ.com. You hit me up on all my social medias, I hate AverageJay. And uh, talk to you guys next week.